a hyper-violent first-person shooter developed by id software and published by bethesda it's the newest entry in the revered doom series and it experiments with the typical fps formula by making every battle a so-called combat puzzle hello my baby hello my honey hello my rack i'm down the game is visually and technically stunning, with some truly inspired art direction. The soundtrack by Mick Gordon is fantastic, matching the gameplay style perfectly. The combat can be very enjoyable and rewarding, making you feel like a god among men. And the expansion of the lore is inventive and deep, but doesn't interfere with the gameplay too much. Combat sections can drag on sometimes, especially when you're not in the right flow. The extensive platforming sections are a jarring departure from the usual gameplay loop. The many new mechanics can be quite overwhelming, even into the mid-game. And let's just say, purple goo. <laughs> After the rousing and not completely expected success of Doom 2016, it's safe to say that Doom Eternal was one of the most anticipated games of the year, and it's not a stretch to think that many fans believed we would be returning to a more of the same but with improved graphics and a few new features. It was quite a shock then, when it turns out that the Doom franchise has effectively been gutted and rebuilt from the ground up, arguably as a brand new subgenre of the first person shooter. You see, whereas in many FPS games where you enter an arena with more than enough ammunition and just kill everything, Eternal's variety of new mechanics make you work for your victory. Ammo and health are not abundant and can vanish in a blink of an eye, so you must consider each action you make carefully. While battling literal hordes of demons, you also have to source ammunition by chainsawing open fodder demons and recover health by glory killing pretty much everything, all the time making sure you aren't blindsided by a hell knight. But then you could always set fire to a demon before chainsawing it to recover armor, or flash freeze them to get more health back. And then again, you could always do everything at once and get back as many resources as you can, only to find out that you you can't actually pick them all up because of the ridiculously low ammo limits. I guess you can probably see my main sticking point with the game. Now, while the platforming is out of place, and the purple goo is simply a terrible design decision, they are what you might expect from attempts to innovate. But the fact that each combat scenario is now a sort of blood-soaked pseudo-puzzle sequence is, and let's be honest, kind of revolutionary. I wouldn't say it's for everyone, and it can hurt the fast pace of battles, especially if you're desperately running around trying to find an ammo pinata while getting shot at from every conceivable direction, but it's in no way bad. And I do applaud it for trying something so new while staying true to what a Doom game should be. It has been said that Eternal can feel very arcadey, given that pickups are now very colourful and there are even extra lives, but I'll probably end up saying that they're fairly inconsequential elements, which help forge the game a memorable identity, but that's about it. As for every other element of the game, well there's not really much I can complain about. It's striking and beautiful visually, impressive technically, has a deep and creative story, and comes with a fantastic soundtrack that you could mosh to for days. Ultimately, while it is a little disappointing that I can't simply wade into a battle and mow everything down, the slightly more cerebral edge to Doom Eternal gives combat situations near endless variety, making it highly replayable. In short, if you're a Doom fan or simply want to experience a new type of FPS, then pick up Eternal. Just don't expect a walk in the park. <laughs>